Hello, welcome to another Wobby Camera Guy video. Have you ever wanted to add a rain effect to your videos just to give it a little bit of atmosphere? Well, there's a very easy way to do this in HitFilm Express, but I'm also going to show you a way how to vary that rain effect as well. So let's get started. So in my timeline, as you can see, we just have a short video clip of some tulips and some grey clouds. And what I'd like to do is add a rain effect to that. So the way we do that is click the composite shot, click the defaults, come across to the bottom left hand corner and go into effects, type in rain because that's the effect that we want. This is an easy way to get there. As you can see, we've got different row selections, but we're going to go quick 3D rain. We're going to bring this above our little short video clip. So if I play that now, you'll see we've got the rain effect, but it's just constant rain of just one sort of pattern. And it'd be nice if we could vary that just, well, just for the hell of it, so why not? So, but as you can see, it's a little bit difficult just to see within your sort of viewing window, the amount of rain and varying it. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm actually going to freeze and hide that video. So this now is our rain effect. So if we bring this to the start of the video, you can see the actual effect where I've laying on those tulips. Now then, what I want to do is vary that effect. So the way we do that is if you click on the little triangle by the effect, come down to rain, and you'll see there we've got various sort of choices. What I'm going to do is just vary the amount today. So I'm going to bring my cursor timeline to the start of the timeline. I am going to click amount, so I'm going to add that first key point. I'm then going to move the cursor just a short way, something around like that. And what I'm going to do is increase the amount of rain. So I've just clicked on that little sort of um, totalizer there. As you can see, we're now raising up that. And I'm going to make that about 2,000. So increasing that effect quite a bit. I then want to move my cursor along a bit further. And then what I'm going to do then is create another um, key point in, in the timeline here. So literally what I'm going to do is actually copy and just do a right click and just go paste. And that'll put another key point exactly where my cursor was. I'm gonna move the timeline a bit further along. And then what I'm going to do is come back to our, the amount of rain we're going to put in. And I'm really gonna come right the way down to zero if I never get there. Okay, so if I come to the start, I'll play that. So you'll see there, amount of rain is increasing and then it sort of slows down. Now what would be nice if we can play around with these effects to get the best sort of effect, if you like, that we want, if I am use a better sort of term there. So hit value graph, you can see here, this actually is just a graphical representation of the rain effect. So we started off with our rain at a thousand, we increased as we went along to the timeline, kept it about the same, and then came right the way down to got no rain at all. So. How do we vary this? So well, two things we can do. First of all, as you can see with this graph, it's a little bit sharp. So in other words, the effects are a little bit sort of, they don't operate sort of smoothly. So simply if we do a window on all those key points, do a right click, hit temporal interpolation. If you hit smooth, as you can see now, now we've smoothed out the effects. But what you can also do is move these effects along. So if you wanted the, amount of time for the rain to slow down, you can just move that little cursor along, etc. So if I now go to the start of our timeline, hit it, as you can see there, the rain effect is following our graph. And you can do all sorts of things with it. You can move it around to your heart's content. It's just a nice way of editing the effect without have to keep going through the the, the the, the, the rain effect, if you like, sort of when you're just selecting the various sort of key points as we did at the start of the video. So if we now come back to our video, we're now going to bring it back in. So it's there, bring it back to the start. We'll now hit the rain effect. You can see it go up and then we come down and it stops. But if I want to now to extend the amount of that stopping, I can do that myself. I can bring that down there. So the amount of rain, if you like, really goes sort of high amount of rain and then it slightly comes down in that little sort of graphical way. So again, come back and it just follows our amount all the way down. And that's it. 
how easy is that? And you can use this value graph on multiple different effects and things, but it just thought it was a good way of actually showing it. And what I'll do, I'll actually show you the video that I've actually done on this um, at the end of this, just so you can see the following, because it's a little bit difficult to see on such a, a fairly sort of small screen when you're viewing it on uh, YouTube. Anyway, appreciate you watching. I'm um, sorry if this was a bit stuttery and starchy, but just something I just thought of. I thought, why not? Let's uh, let's share this. If you know this, then then great. I mean, I'm just sort of learning as I'm going along. But if you didn't, I hope it proved useful. And if you'd like to see any other little hints and tips utilising HitFilm Express, then pop along to my channel. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. I don't mind. I'm learning all the time, and constructive criticism is always welcome as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon.